Hello guys. So, I've got a bit of interesting news here that I don't think many people are talking about. Uh, Dur the Durham Declaration, UAP research goes mainstream. So, what is the Durham de Declaration? Uh, a formal statement signed on April 24th by global academics and scientists at Durham University. It legitimizes SETI, which is the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and UAP, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomenon, research as serious academic fields. Now, I can't stress how important that is. We, this is, this is a pretty, like, interesting and important, like, turn of events. Like, the fact that we're getting acceptance from mainstream scientists on this issue is gold. I can't stress how important this is. Remember, I've spoken to you guys countless times about the Copernicus crisis and also people suffering from some form of um, cognitive dissonance when talking about UAP because it's so beyond the realms of our human understanding. We just refuse to accept it for what it is. Sometimes it, the, the simplest answer is the right one. And in this case, I think these guys have gone, you know what? I think we need to start taking this more seriously. And I think because of all of the exposure that we've had over the past few years, well, since 2017, actually, when they dropped that article in the New York Times, it's, it's going to be coming on for almost 10 years that that happened in a year from now. So, you know, that's substantial. But the fact that you've got Durham, the Durham Declaration for UAP research is, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to break down some, some key articles here in which they talk about some things. You can reference the article. I'll, I'll leave a link in, in, in the description below so you can see it. But here's, here's the first one. So interdisciplinary approach calls for collaboration across sciences, humanities and arts. Academic rigor uh, emphasizes uh, methodological. I can never say that word right. Methodological transparency and high research standards. Number three, mainstream integration urges the inclusion of SETI and UAP studies in mainstream academic research. I think that's probably the most important one. The fact that they're sitting down finally and going, right, okay, all right, let's 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 look at this, okay, because this is now becoming overwhelming. The evidence is now becoming overwhelming. Let's start doing our job and being scientists and trying to understand what this is. This is an incredible turning point. It really is. And it's never going to be one thing. It's not just going to be what Skywatcher is doing. It's not just going to be what Paulina Luna is doing with the Task Force for Transparency. Uh, it's not going to be what Lou Elizondo is doing by rubbing shoulders with the Trump administration. It's a combined effort from everyone, from every angle. And I think that's a really important point here. The fact that we've got mainstream scientists going, right, let's pull our finger out now and take this seriously, is brilliant. This is really, really good news. This isn't going to be overly long, guys, because you can reference the article for yourself. There's no... Uh, crazy b-roll or anything like that with this it's just a really important milestone that i think is it is key to understanding the all-encompassing idea of what this disclosure looks like uh, number four is independence advocates for research free from government or private agendas <laughs> oh my god <laughs> how do you like them apples like as we know um this entire thing has been very heavily controlled by private aerospace firms northrop grumman lockheed martin raytheon BAE systems possibly, Bigelow Industries or Aerospace, whatever it's called, you know, and all the others. Um, and, I, I, you know, a, a combined with the DOE, uh, which is the Department of Energy, used to be called the uh, Atomic Energy uh, Division, I believe. It's great that we're finally seeing academics going, right, let's do this. Let's do the research. Let's actually, you know, move these silly private agendas out of the way, you know, for bettering their personal agendas and just get on with it. This is awesome. Number five, policy advocacy encourages influencing public policy to support these research areas. So I'm going to read like the, the, the first couple of paragraphs from the uh, uh, durham.ac.uk, by the way, in case you want to look this up. And it's titled Durham Declaration on SETI and UAP Research. Uh, Considering that since the middle of the 20th century, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has been looking for evidence in outer space. Considering that for much longer, humans have reported experiences with unknown phenomenon on Earth and that in a large number of cases, it remains unclear whether such phenomena were and are of non-human origin, unknown and unexplained natural or psychological events, or secret human technology, emphasizing that any evidence of non-human intelligence would be of existential importance to humanity as a whole, and that there is a corresponding need for rigorous and sustained serious research. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the undersigned endorse the proclamation of the following declaration so there, there's a lot of parts here I'm not going to read all of that you guys can look at that yourself uh, they've also got the Durham declaration is endorsed by and there's a number of doctors and professors on here there's a lot there's at least uh, there's more than 10 uh, which is uh, a good start but I think this is a really cool article and I think it's something that 
uh, everyone needs to be aware of. That's why you've got me here. So uh, I don't leave any stone unturned. Uh, and, and, and have a good read of it, guys. It's really, really interesting. But uh, that's it for now. You heard it first from DK, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you.